Stadium on the campus of the University of Central Florida. It's the 2018 Florida Cup. This afternoon on a brisk day at Spectrum Stadium here, it's the 16-time Colombian champions, Atletico Nacional versus the Galos. Club Atletico Minero from Brazil. Good afternoon and welcome everybody. Alongside Tom Traxler, I'm Jeff Radcliffe. Thanks so very much for joining us on a beautiful afternoon. Get a little chilly up here. Uh, I see a little thinning in the middle, maybe the, the, uh, uh, the goalkeeper in the, the, in, the, in, the, yeah, in the small box. But um, it's not bad. It's a good surface to play. A little crown, but not bad. Here's a look at Nacional's lineup. We believe a 4-2-3-1 for Jorge Almiron. Yeah, first choice, first choice keeper, Christian Vargas, will be in there. Uh, you know, he, you have a look down the line. You have uh, Montano and, and Aguilar. Uh, keep your eye up top uh, for for the players such as Jason Lucemi. He should play very well. Uh, Atletico Nacional. Uh, we look; it's largely an unchanged side. Uh, one change that was made: it's, it's Xavier. You'll see. He will be in for Lelou, who makes well. So that'll be the one change from their first game. Play. And Thalys is in, a uh, dynamic player who got a should rattle the post against Rangers to start with. That's Jorge Almiron of Atletico Nacional. You know, interesting player that we may see, number 33 for Nacional, Andres Pereira, was born in Tampa, Florida. Here's Minero starting 11, as you mentioned, Tom, but just one change, Xavier in for Lelou. Yes, exactly. Only one change in, as you look, number eight, Xavier, will be in for Lelou for Cousinardi's team. Uh, again, I mentioned Thalys is a, is a young player. Keep your eye on watch him. He is an Atletico B player, but played very, very well. Uh, and Clayton would be uh, another first team player who is here. He's, he's their goalkeeper, so he could be a, a possibility to start. You would look down their subs. And Emmanuel, right? Oh, that's a lot of very, yes, Emmanuel's there, yeah, but a lot of U20s. They're all U20s and Atletico B players, so very young side for Atletico Mineiro. And some had some impressive moments in that game against Rangers. There's Chow Zanardi is the acting manager here as the team is stateside here in the U.S. He's former head coach of the Colorado Strikers now uh, in that youth team set up down in Pinheiro. Uh, Oswaldo de Oliveira is their head coach down in Rio. Or from Rio. They're from Belo Horizonte, Club Atletico Mineiro. It's a long, dangerous square ball, and it's picked off by Mineiro. Oh, one way to stop him. That's, wow. yeah, that's going to be a free kick. I was going to say, there's no advantage gain there, referee. And Alexis Enriquez made the most of it. Well, started with that bad, bad slack pass across the middle. Oh, one way to stop Pablo. Pablo is cruising along, and Alexis Enriquez just put a stop <laughs> to that movement. Alto. Wide by Hanson. Open into the area, shot away, save made by Vargas. Well, bring a little confidence, I think, here to the Brazilian club. Well, we asked. You asked for it, you got it. <laughs> We're looking for something to trouble the goalkeeper, and, and finally, we get a good look at it as Laurent. Laurent. Plays it on, and as Adson looks up, he finds Thales. Thales, at least with a drive, low to that post, forcing Christian Vargas down into a, a save, but signs of, of life, signs of attacking life in this game, Jeff. Take it away, Torres. Torres squares it top of the box, running in, a shot, SCORE! Renteria, and it is 1-0 Nacional. That's what we wanted to see, goals. Comes off a mistake, Gustavo Torres pounces, makes the most as he cuts that ball back across the top. Renteria with a great touch to play him into the box, and he makes no mistake with the finish right around Clayton. Have a look at a good first touch. That first touch, beautiful play right behind the defenders and in perfect space for him to run onto. 
First touch always sets up your second touch. And that was a beautiful first touch by Red Saria. Look at that. Admire the player's skill there. Also admire Gustavo Torres. I wish they could rewind that back a little bit to show the missed pass and how he jumped on that. A little mistake, but you gotta capitalize on mistakes by your opponents. Torres jumped on that like a pack of dogs and a three-legged cat. That's it. You're about to. <laughs> Montaño. As we get a look there, so you see how he just, he picked pockets. Adson, but again, it's just that, that first touch by Renteria. Placing it right behind the two defenders and powering between them. Oh my, yeah, another giveaway. Bad touch, huh? who knows, the pitch could have had something to do with it in that area. Ramirez, oh, oh my! Luchumi! Good morning, good evening, and good night. Well, Luchumi do it to me. The attack-minded player, directed quick with a drive into the far post. Like a lightning strike, we have action. Let's have a look. Poor touch in the midfield, leads to a turnover. And look at Luchumi, he says, nah, I just can shoot. Ball whipping and dipping in that far post. Got a little dip to get by the goalkeeper. Boom. Shake the bounce house with that one. Ball not moving much. I mean, moving quick, but it's not spinning. And it just dips away from that goalkeeper, nestles in that far post. And Luchumi. Yeah, the 22-year-old out of Suarez, Colombia, three times capped with the Colombian national team. The two goals in the finalization. Boy, a major league collision. Play on. Top of the box. Boy, it's looking to wind up that time was Renteria. And the player who was down, Castro, got up, trying to play the ball, and they were right back down. And we'll keep playing out. Here, Monero, you time is short. Here come the aforementioned changes Tom was speaking to. Juan Pablo Nieto, the 24-year-old out of Pereira, Colombia. Six seasons with the club, he'll come in. Have a look at this goal here. Coming at you. Boom. Look at that. Just dips beyond the goalkeeper. Lovely strike by Lucemi. Pretty much all an individual effort right there. No one to pass to. Says, I'll just take matters into my own hands. David Castaneda is the other sub from the Dijin. 6-2. This one is a forward, so there's a target for you. So 28 and 15 in. Ramirez off. 